And we're here with Paul Anacone at Taste of Tennis. Uh, Paul, I have to ask you, this is kind of an interesting event. It pairs players and coaches with people who cook food. Food isn't necessarily the tennis player's best friend. No, you got to be careful, but you get to have fringe benefits like going to a table like this with mud pie cupcakes, with with frozen treats that you would not believe, banana, caramel, chocolate, peanut butter. I think I'm going to gain 40 pounds just standing here, but it's been a great night and uh, a lot of great people here, and uh, it's always been fun. I've been coming for... I don't know how many years, and I really enjoy it. You seem very comfortable back here. Do you ever cook yourself? or I, I can almost boil water. Almost. I'm getting close. I can almost boil water. So you water. just know your pastries. I've mastered cereal. I can do cold cereal in the morning. I've mastered that. So I figure by the time I'm 50, I'll be able to boil the water and get some pasta going. I just have to ask, obviously at various times in your life, you've traveled the world pretty extensively. Uh, obviously as a player, you weren't allowed to indulge too much, but... Are there food cities that you really looked forward to going to or little restaurants you really look forward to traveling to a city just to be able to drop in and pay a visit? Well, you know, we actually were pretty lucky. Usually all the tournaments have the right places for us to go. They make great recommendations. And all the cities that we go to, Rome, Melbourne, Australia, Paris, London, uh, here in New York, everywhere you go, you're generally going to find some good restaurants. And usually we have some terrific people behind the scenes that point us in the best kind of uh, culinary areas to hit. Thank you. Right, thanks Thank a lot. you.